this may just be the final video that I'm going to be covering this topic. This may just be the final video where I'm going to cover this topic. I don't care what nobody says. When I hear anyone complaining how things are so expensive and they can't find a job, it goes in one ear and out the other because they're lying. Many people could think to themselves, well, if they can't find a job, then the job that I'm doing, working in McDonald's and a fast food chain, right? Then what is that? Strange, isn't it? Makes no sense. Makes no sense, does it? People may say, are they literally saying that they can't find a job? Because I know plenty of jobs. There's millions and millions and millions of jobs available. You know what the problem is? A lot of young people today are very entitled. And there are some people who has a sense of pride and ego to where they're like, I'm not going to catch myself working at Walmart, working at a dead end job a hotel, any essential job they don't want to do. How are you able to eat? How are you able to get by? How are you able to survive? How, how are you able to buy things for yourself? What are you going to do when your parents die? What are you going to do when your relatives die? The people that you're mooching off of. What are you going to do? How are you going to live unless you want to make it a goal to just live, to exist and die in the same spot that you're at? No traveling, no going out, nothing. You see, any person that's born in this world, you have these three options in order to just get by. These are the three options. Go to vocational school or trade school or technical school. Go to college or be an essential worker for the rest of your life or stay there in hopes of somehow ranking up to be a, man a manager or supervisor. When most of the time, it's slim to none. Chances are you would have to have some type of skill at that job. You have to be there for years. You have to bust your behind. And when you become a manager or a supervisor, you have to work twice as hard. In many cases. There's a stereotype where a lot of people think that supervisors and, and the managers, they get to sit back and kick back and tell people what to do. That's not how it works. Managers and supervisors, they have their own boss. Their boss has their own boss. I'm tired of a lot of young people thinking that they could all be an entrepreneur. Everybody's not going to be Jeff Bezos. Everybody's not going to be Mark Zuckerberg. You're probably going to be in the level of a mom and pop business, but how far and how long is that going to last? It doesn't make any sense, does it? You have to take the time sometimes to sit down. Take some accountability and be realistic. 
The truth hurts. It really does. The truth stings anybody. That's why so many weak people, yes, I'm going to say so many weak people are too afraid to face the truth, to face themselves. So it's easier for them to live in a lie, live in a la-la land, have an escape. Listen to bad advice from people that, that, didn't, that didn't even make it themselves. They don't have to work to show for it. You don't want to be an electrician. You don't want to be a carpenter. You don't want to be a plumber. You don't want to learn anything in, in trade. Okay, you go to college. College has a bad rep from millionaires and people who are rich because they made it. They got the money. They were blessed with that. But the majority, the people of society, about 70 to 80 percent of us are average everyday workers. Just being realistic. America is based off a hierarchy. It's like a pyramid. There's the ones that are at the top and the majority that is, that is at the bottom. I don't crap on essential workers or customer service uh, reps. I, I really don't, don't crap on them. I give them a lot of credit because those jobs needs people. So if their jobs was replaced by AI, which there could be a possibility of that happening in the future, guess what? A lot of people is going to regret it. I'd rather deal with an actual person face-to-face -face than deal with a robot when it comes down to customer service. Because at least some people can actually emphasize and understand where you're coming from. Sure, you have the bad people coming around here and there. But it's about the social connections, the, the social awareness, feeling the need to be taken care of. And the reason why I'm saying is that for people that say that, oh, I can't find a job, you're lying. What they're really trying to say is that the job that I want, I don't qualify for or it does not exist. This is the entitled Generation, the entitlement, the ego, the pride. I'm too good enough to work for Walmart. I'm, I'm too good enough to work for Target. I'm too good enough to work for Zaxby's, McDonald's, Applebee's, to be a waiter. A lot of people don't, don't want to do that job. But guess what? That job is paying money. You don't think... Jeff Bezos was at rock bottom to get to where he needed to be. You have to understand your limits. You have to understand your bracket. You have to understand where you could get in life, how far you could go in life. What's your limits? I'm not born into a rich family. I'm an average Joe. Okay, what can I do to make more money? I want a nicer car. I want a bigger house. I want to travel. I want to have a family. I want to have a, a family, kids. You need the money. Working a nine to five job is just not it. Unless you're by yourself. I was just talk talking with one of my coworkers. I don't know the I don't know the man's business, and the man is about he's in his fifties. He said that he was able to survive off of $16 an hour. And he's at the point in life where he's like, man, I don't even want to work hard. I just want to do my job and just get on by. He admitted that. And I respectfully told him, hey, some jobs is just not for everybody. There's just some people that wants to live an easy life, be an average worker, Minimum wage. They don't want the responsibility of being a supervisor. Okay, that's fine. But for me, people like myself that has children, that has a family. 
Minimum wage is not going to be enough to take care of your kids. Mortgage payments. Housing costs. The, the, the cost to even have a car. Want, wanting to travel. Wanting to just live in a better area, better neighborhood. You're going you're gonna to need better credit. You're going to need more money. And it looks good when you have a career a professional that you could be proud of. And people treat you a certain way based off the profession, based off the job that you're doing. And this I'm not saying all, but this is this how some people are in most cases. Why do you think so many people has respect for nurses, doctors, lawyers, attorneys, firefighters, Many cases, police officers, detectives, chiefs, chief officers. Those are careers compared to customer service worker, janitor. Food worker. Like, like, what? What is that? I, I know I'm, I'm different from a lot of other people because I've had many people tell me this. You look like you don't belong here. Certain, there was one job a guy told me that. This is this was a ghetto job, ghetto environment. A lot of my coworkers were ghetto. I didn't fit in with them, but they were cool with me. Many of them. And guess what? One guy who was there, who I used to work with, he was there for about a day. And he was like, you look like you don't belong here. You look like you could get your head in the books and you could get somewhere in life. The man has, uh, the last time when I spoke to him, he had two jobs. He was also um, a cook. He was just trying to get himself back on his feet. And he said that he's working on having a business of his own. I told him, congratulations, and I hope it goes somewhere. That's You can only hope for the best. But at least he's pushing himself in that right direction. I, I don't know what kind of business it was, but hopefully he's being realistic and hopefully it works out. Having a business is like a numbers game. That's why I said in the beginning of the video, everybody's not going to be Jeff Bezos. If there's 10 million of people that has the exact same business that you're thinking of, then the competition is going to be extremely fierce. And if you're not making a lot of money, the business could go dry. There's no stable income. And there's nothing else you could do. You just have to understand to be realistic to look at the bigger picture understand your competition understand the values the pros and cons and what you got to offer to bring to the table you can't just get up and just make a business on on your own it doesn't work like that there are dry spells where some business owners like the mom and pop businesses where business is slow they're not making a lot of money but they have to pay the landlord the rent because they're renting out the space. How can you pay the landlord from the space that you're renting out for your business if you're not making any money? How can you be able to eat, survive, pay your bills, pay you for your mortgage, pay for your house, pay for your rent if you're not making any money? That's why I don't I don't uh, ever hate on college graduates that I'm in college. I have to I have a part time job. I'm living with my parents. I'm making this little money just to get by. It seems like some so many college students that graduate with a lot of debt, it's like a lot of them didn't know 
about scholarships, good grades. And I understand if everybody's not going to have the best grades, if you don't have the best grades in college, like A's and B's, and you have C's and D's, scholarship programs is not going to look out for you like that. You're not going to be even eligible to apply for many. So they're going to want the top of the best because it looks good to them that th these are the type of people that, that went to this school. They're going to pay you money for how smart you were, how great you did. And that's how you get rewarded. And with scholarships, you could be able to put some in your pocket, take care of your debt, or pay off many of your classes too, or whatever extra class that you want to take on the side. It's all on the matter of how you move, what you do, your decisions, the choices that you make. Many things is possible. The problem is, a lot of people today does not want to apply themselves. They're feeding into all this negativity. The media is not your best friend. All those news reporters that are saying stuff like, oh, so many college, college students can't find a job. Oh, so many college students, they can't find a job w w from the degree that they went for. Having a degree in art or in gender studies is not going to land you a job. Art is a question mark, but if majority of people is going for that, it's going to be very scarce and it's going to look like a degree where everybody has that. What do you have to offer? That's why I told many people many times, go for a job or a professional career, a career, a professional career that's in demand. There's a lot of blue collar jobs. There's a lot of healthcare jobs. All these jobs, is, uh, these professionals that are paying up to $60,000, $80,000, a year, depending on the area, depending on the cost of living in the area, depending on where you live. All these career professions is available. So I don't care and don't get smart with me saying that you can't find a job. Yes, you can. What do you mean by you can't find a job? You can't find a job or you can't find a career. People that believe everything that they hear from other people on, on, on the media, you're weak. You're closed-minded. And it tells me a lot about your, about your mindset. Negative, always scared of change. Want to sit there and complain about everything that's going on in society and blame the world, blame this, blame that. Act like a victim. That's why, of course, I have high respects for some people from Gen X that I've met that actually had careers. I want a better lifestyle. I want a nice car. I want a nice home. I have to work for it. I'm currently in college because the career that I want is available in college. I have to go to go for college. You want to be a nurse? You have to go to college. You want to major in being a, a, a eye doctor? You have to go to college. A physician? You have to go to college. And you have to be realistic. It's so easy to just do your research with a click of a button. The problem is so many people does not do that. They listen to the wrong people and they become a follower. I'm going to link uh, many things and pin it in the comment section down below. One, one Reddit post I've seen about useless college degrees. One lady was like, I don't know if it was a woman or a man, but this person said, I wasted five years going for an art degree. 
when I could have just went to college to be a nurse from the very beginning. And this person is a nurse right now, registered nurse. And registered nurses, you could go anywhere in the United States, almost anywhere. And you could always get a job guaranteed and make a lot of money. It's those jobs that I respect a lot. Just like doctors, lawyers, police officers, firefighters. Those are careers. They always have jobs available. The problem is a lot of people are too lazy or they just don't want to do it. Or it's not for you. Just admit that. Those jobs is not for me. Then go for a career. If you're not going for anything and you keep complaining about the job market, sitting in the mommy's and daddy's house is not going to change for uh, very long. Time is ticking. Time does not wait for nobody. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be harsh, but I don't feel bad for people that, that acts like they're a victim. If you're putting yourself in victim situations, you're victimizing yourself. You want to look for attention. Woe is me. That's weak. I live on my own. I'm 31. I'm 31 years old. I have to pay rent. I have to pay for uh, car payments. I need to make money. I'm a, I'm I'm an essential worker. I have two kids, my wife, myself. The house we're renting, I have to pay for electricity, I have to pay for internet, I have to pay for me and my wife's phone bill. My wife is in school, I'm in school. She's in school to be a registered nurse. I'm in school to be a physical therapist. Starting off with going for a degree in physical therapy assistant. For any one of you who wants me to break it down better for you. And it's a two-year degree. Two years, about two to three years in college. That's not, that's not a lot of time going to waste. Those jobs are in demand. They need people. Yes, it's good to have skills. Yes, it's good to have job experience. But how are you going to complain about the job market, but then you don't even have a plan? There are plenty of jobs available. Plenty. The problem is so many people does not want to do those jobs. Then they wonder why they're stuck. So you rather live as a bum and live under mommy and daddy for the rest of your life. That, that's what you're saying? I've seen, I'm tired of the media, the news, um, villainizing college, villainizing uh, 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 America, situations. When there are so many opportunities that anybody could do. The time is now. You have these options. Vocational, trade school, technical school, college, go for a profession that does not require a degree, or you could be an essential worker for the rest of your life if you don't want to be a manager or a supervisor, and just job hop from there and work your way up until you get a, a decent paying job. Or the last option, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend, live under your parents for the rest of your life. But that does not work out very long anyway, because for many cases, when anyone's parents is not here, they're not here. Or there's cases where the parents get tired of you and they kick you out of their house. Then what? And don't get me wrong, too, with this. There's so many homeless people that are also entitled as well. There are entitled homeless people. Oh, yes, they exist. I'm being real. I'm being realistic. There's billions of people on planet Earth. You cannot tell me that 
every person who is homeless is a victim. There are people who are homeless by choice. And there are people who are homeless from unfortunate circumstances. Or they were brought up into homelessness. People who are brought up into homelessness, they became homeless or they purposely sell themselves up to be homeless. So I don't really buy the excuse of, oh, I can't find a job. Oh, I just graduated from a four-year college. But then they never mentioned the degree that they graduated with. One case, I'm going to mention this one last thing. There's one case of a girl that I've seen on YouTube. The news made a a video about her, and then I, I believe they interviewed her. And I don't know if she turned her life around, but at this time, she graduated. I think it was a two year or a four year business degree. And she was working in a car business with a a two to four year business degree. I don't know the exact years. I believe it was a four year business degree. And she's working in a car dealership. Yes, it it was. It's in a car dealership. Four year business degree, two to four year business degree. Working in a car dealership. What kind of job? Sales. Or essential job. That's underemployment at its finest. Sure, some some jobs requires you to have any any degree. Just to say that oh, okay, you're smart enough to have this job. But does that does not mean nothing in most cases. Even just to get a decent paying job without a college degree. You're going to need some type of experience or somebody that you know from that company that to, that could get you in. Exercise your options and be realistic. Be real with yourself. Just be real with yourself and be realistic. Casual talk here. Peace out. Let me know what you think.